Often biotechnologists think that because biotechnology has to do with so many different things, they know something about a lot of things, but very less about many things that are related to other fields to be able to apply for a job in a similar direction. In other words, they don't really understand what they as biotechnologists are qualified for. So they only search and apply for jobs that have the word biotechnologists in it and completely overlook the job offers that they are most certainly qualified for. So before you apply for a job, you must understand what your studies prepare you for and what sort of jobs you're more than qualified to do as biotechnologists. You have to realize that biotechnology is mostly practice oriented. It combines science, engineering and informatics. And we as biotechnologists, we learn to incorporate many of these thematic and methodological disciplines from these main subjects. And we learn to communicate with these disciplines and to connect them in their own technical language. So biotechnology is interdisciplinary applicable because of these methodological and thematic mixture of disciplines. In other words, biotechnologists do have that basic knowledge and understanding of other disciplines like chemistry or um, biology or other interdisciplinary fields like biophysics, bioinformatics, or other medical technological sciences. That's why biotechnologists are qualified to apply for jobs in these other interdisciplinary fields like biochemistry, bioinformatics, and other medical sciences. For example, if you look at the job description of these other interdisciplinary job offers, you'll mostly find offered positions for production, lab work like research or something, planning and monitoring of experimentation, or analysis or evaluation of your experiment. In other words, documentation. So job offers for these four positions are most likely to be found when you search for a job. So if you break these job offers down, you'll see that these four things we as biotechnologists also learn during our studies. So what I mean by that is that we biotechnologists go through these four processes. That means we are qualified to do this sort of work. Yes, I mean, depending on the company, of course, some things are going to be different, but the basic things like the, the base is actually the same. For example, if you look for a job in a chemical industry, so uh, let's say you find a job for chemical analysis. So what you'll find is they require the basic knowledge of these analytical methods and processes. For example, um, electrophoresis or um, chromatography or spectroscopy, like these analytical processes, which you as biotechnologists have already done in your lab. That means you have that basic knowledge so you can apply for these side of jobs. So what I'm trying to say is don't just look at the title of the job but the job description. So what you can do is you can go through the job description and look out for keywords that you are familiar with. And the same concept applies to other fields. Like uh, for instance, there's like pharma and chemical. So pharma and chemical industry, their main focus is biotechnology. So as a biotechnologist, you can just apply in those industries. But there are also other sorts of companies like there's food companies, there's agriculture, climate control. There are also medical labs biofuel production. So in these companies, you can also apply as a biotechnologist and easily find a job. You just have to look at the description of the job offer and look for keywords. If the keywords mention any of the processes that you already have done in your lab, then you are qualified to apply for that job in that particular company. So if you have this huge spectrum of job offers for biotechnologists, you really shouldn't worry about getting a job. You just have to realize what you as biotechnologists are qualified for, for what sort of jobs your degree course has prepared you for, and you just have to apply. Let's look at some examples so that you have a better understanding for what sort of jobs I meant this whole time. If you're applying for a job position that says biotechnology, then you're good to go. You just have to apply. Now let's look at the job offers that have no mention of biotechnology, but you as biotechnologists are fully qualified to apply for. For instance, if you look at this job offer, it's for antigen and antibody purification, or you can say just protein purification. As you can see here, you have to do the purification of antigen and antibodies doing affinity chromatography, which is basically ion exchange chromatography, but with a different composition of the mobile phase and electrophoresis, which is what they mean by this gel filtration. So gel filtration is electrophoresis. And also in the second task, you guys can see 
You have to perform these experiments using spectroscopy, fluorometry, chromatography, and electrophoresis. So these things you already have done in the lab, so you are qualified to apply for this sort of jobs. And here they're just saying that you have to be academically trained to be a bio or medical technological assistant or just a lab worker, laborant. Actually, if you have a degree, then you don't have to worry about this word Ausbildung. It's more like a training, like an internship, but that's a topic for another day. Bottom line is, you don't have to worry about this word if you have completed your studies. And then you have the fourth and fifth point where they're just asking for some work experience. So that's not why we are here to talk about. Here we have a job offer from a company called Döla. They make food and beverage products using natural ingredients. So they're looking for a lab assistant for raw material quality control. Here you'll be doing quality control using physical and chemical analytical processes. So you can apply for this sort of jobs as well. And also jobs like these where you have to do chromatographies or things like microbiological research or sensoric or other physical chemical study of raw material are inside the circle of your expertise. So you can apply for these sort of jobs and I think you should if you don't have a personal preference. I hope you guys got what I was trying to convey this whole time. If not, please let me know in the comments section. To sum up what this whole video has been about, you as biotechnologists are qualified for more than you think because biotechnology is interdisciplinary applicable. So if you have a biotech degree, you can apply for jobs in many of those other interdisciplinary companies you just have to read the description of the job and look out for keywords what they want and if in the job description you see anything that you're already familiar with that you already have done in the lab that means you're most probably eligible for that job so that's been it for this one please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one